The most popular feature of iDoc is the contact lens searches, and I'm going to show you how uh, they're used. This is the interface that uh, we use for the contact lens searches. Uh, the way people are most likely to search for a contact lens is by name, and I've tried to make it very easy to do that. There's a box in the upper left-hand corner where you can type in the name of a lens. For instance, if I'm looking for an AccuView lens, you just type in a fragment of that name, hit return, and the uh, database will find all the contact lenses that have that name in it. And of course, there's a number of AccuView products. In this case, we found nine results. So when we get the list of results, we can look at the names. We know they're all made by Vistacon. The power ranges, if they're toric, bifocal, or, or a cosmetic lens. So for this example, let's say we wanted to find uh, the AccuView 2 colors. We would just click on that lens, and we get a page that displays all the details for that lens the name and image of the packaging, or even the lenses if they're available, the um, diameter, base curves, powers, the colors they come in. Uh, this one comes in enhancers and opaques. If it was a torque or a bifocal lens, that information would be included too. The material, DK, FDA groups, and a number of other parameters. For a lot of these um, pieces of information, there's more information available. For instance, if you click on the company name, uh, you'll see a pop-up box that lists uh, Vistacon's phone number, their address, uh, links to their website, uh, email address in this case. Similar information is given for other uh, things on, this, uh, on the page here too. Uh, for instance, Edafilcon A, you see the green question mark next to it. When you click on that, it will give you more information about that particular polymer. Similar, the FDA group, click on the question mark next to the FDA group number four. If you can't remember what that means, uh, this will refresh your memory. It's a high water ionic polymer and uh, what that entails. It's very easy to go back to the, your search results. So if you decided that you wanted to look at the Acubee bifocal instead, you can just click on a different um, option. We've tried to make it really easy to get more information about these lenses also. So in the upper right hand corner you see a drop down box that has links to other ways to get more information. For instance, wholesale prices is available for uh, many of the uh, contact lenses. If there's something on our website that uh, if you can't find some information on our website, well, we try to make it really easy to find more information. So for most lenses, we have links to uh, the company's website and actually to the particular lens that you're looking at, or sometimes even the fitting guide or package inserts for that lens. So uh, for instance, if we click here, it'll go directly to Vistacon's website and we'll see uh, the AccuView bifocal information. So going back to iDoc, there's other ways to search, uh, and if you're not looking by name, let's say you want to find a lens that's by Bosch & Lomb, but you're not sure of the name, or just want to see all their lenses, you can browse by manufacturer by just uh, going to this drop-down box, selecting, let's say, Bosch & Lomb in this example, hit go, and you'll get all of Bosch & Lomb's lenses, and in this case it found 16. It's only finding the lenses that are not discontinued in this case. If you want to find discontinued lenses, if you have a patient that was wearing an old lens that is discontinued but you want to refresh your memory on what parameters it came in to find something comparable, you do have the option of finding discontinued lenses too. Perhaps the most useful feature is the advanced searches. The advanced searches are for uh, finding a lens that, with very specific parameter ranges. A good example is last week I saw a young girl who had a fair amount of farsightedness, a fair amount of astigmatism, and um, I wanted to find a lens for her that was more frequently replaced, and I know there aren't many options out there that fall into that range. So the advanced searches is just for that. I can find, let's say, a lens that has uh, at least six diopters of, let's say seven diopters of hyperopia, I want it to be a toric lens. I need a lot of cells, so we're going to need one that has at least three diopters of astigmatism. 
and I want to have it replaced at least on a three month basis, if not less. So I'll choose between daily and three months. And I hit search and it finds me seven lenses that fall into that range. Um, a few by Alden, a few by Cooper Vision, uh, Gelflex, Specialized LLC. From here, uh, we can look at the uh, power, the diameters they come in, uh, the, uh, the amount of cell. I can even expand the search results to include other information. So for instance, if I want the highest DK lens, I can choose options, select DK, uh, close the box, and it'll list the DK for each of these lenses too. I can even uh, sort the DK ascending or descending, and I can choose the lens that has the uh, highest DK that fits my, my uh, parameter needs and uh, view, that, view that lens's information. So I hope you like what you see, and uh, be sure to check out our other tutorials.